Now, last time I spoke to David Bramall, the executive chairman of Union Jack Oil, we spoke about the political regime here in the UK and what would happen if there was a change of government. He suggested then that there was assets elsewhere that the company was considering. And since then, we've learned about expansion into the United States. To discuss assets elsewhere and existing, he joins me again now. So David, the United States, you've bought three mineral royalty packages in Oklahoma, where you've also got two farming agreements what exactly have you purchased and why Oklahoma? Okay, morning, Sarah, everybody. We're, well, we, this all started about 18 months ago, something I'd say like an infiltration. Business in the UK, have to stress, be very, very good for us and very, very kind for us in the past. And I believe we've made over the years, and it's taken a long time, a model company where we're in production, we're making profit, uh, we pay dividends, we share buybacks, everything is absolutely good. Big problem, everything is very, very slow as well. Shareholders don't like it. They're coming up with conspiracy theories. Situation is, things are slow in the UK and it's got worse the last couple of years. And no matter what people try and do to make things happen quickly, it doesn't happen. COVID without putting a blame on it. That didn't help. Ever since, it seems ever since COVID, things have slowed down, got different people working from home, but that's a different matter. Bottom line is, things are slow. They happen, but and shareholders obviously don't like it. Do I agree with them? Of course I do. What, what can I not? Why, why shouldn't I? I mean, we're, we, we feel the same frustration. To drill a well in the UK, Probably takes two years of planning if you're lucky. The costs have gone up. A well cost where I can remember two million for a well. You're talking four million, five million now. So every, everything's more difficult. I think really what put the seal on things was this energy to the profits that levy tax. It's absolutely ridiculous. It started off at 25, 20, 25, 30, then gone to 35 this year. That can't be right. That's a 75% tax on your profits. And it's difficult. Anyone in this game will tell you, in, well, in any business, it's hard to make a profit. We've actually achieved this. And for somebody to come along, it's like being mugged at the spotlights, in my opinion. And it, it's not fair. Okay, but all my bleating won't help that. So, as I indicated in my interim report, plus what I spoke to you before, we had to do something about it. So the team, myself, we've looked around, we've viewed a lot of nice, easy to work in countries. And every time we keep going back to the US now, it's it's good to have contacts. We very friendly with a guy called Miles Newman, who was very successful with his North Sea reach years ago, op opened up in Oklahoma. So there's a rapport there anyway. And we decided, OK, the US is quick for drilling. Let's go back to shareholders. They want activity. They want to see wells drilled. And our share price has been under pressure quite a lot, even though everything is good. We bring out good reviews, good RNSs, like a, a tripling of reserves at Wrestle. Nobody cared. So we have to get activity into, into the company. And this is what we've done. We've at least two wells to be drilled in the US, one very, very quickly, the Bolex. And plus, we've got the mineral royalty section, which is throwing off cash like a bandit. And what, that do you mean, what do you mean, David, throwing cash off like a bandit? Has any of What that... it means is it pays back a, a massive, massive dividend every we've got a rate internal rate of return of 20%. And that could always that can only go up because these royalties are very, very immature major companies drilling and many new wells to be drilled many new wells to be completed so our royalty dividend can only go up with any new any new activity which we expect chevron are one of the operators they publicly stated that they're going to be very active in the in the in the basin in the permian basin so this is a safe what we consider a safe bet we we're not going to punt everything 
we have to have some cash flow. That's all I'm interested in is profit. Okay, so um, has that cash flow started to flow into? Oh yes, within within two months, we've already got back about fifteen percent of our our initial outlay. Yeah, so that's a safe, steady. We've got reach managing the portfolio. Uh, will we will we add to the portfolio? Yes, of course we will. As, as these opportunities crop up, we we've always got our eyes open. So yes, it's going to be a very important part of of Union Jack going forward. Because I need to, let's do the calculations because um, looking through the RNSs where the US is concerned, um, it costs you 854,000 for the royalty packages, 227,000 for the farming. For, back, for, for the back cost, yes, yeah. With the, the way things way? work, the way things work, with, when you go into a company's assets, which they've built up, you say, well, I'd be interested in taking some of this. They say, well, you know, we've spent, to get to this stage of drilling, we've already spent X, Y, Z, so we'd like you to pay some back costs. Yeah, that's acceptable. So we negotiate the back costs, we agree terms, and then we're into the drilling phase, which we're in now. Okay, so I think that you have spent about two million since your introduction. We, we would have been. We've So far, we spent just under a million dollars on the royalties. On the actual deals, for drilling deals, we spent just north of half a million dollars. Right, okay. And so you with get... the first well, that's going to cost just shy of half a million dollars. And that's to earn a 45% interest. That's so inexpensive. A well over here, as I mentioned earlier, would cost you four to five million. You can get a well over in the US now, quite a quite prolific well for a million dollars and drilled within a month and even brought on 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 stream if successful. So if successful, what do you think um you'll be pumping? Pay back in six months. Only if you're successful. Oh, of course, yes. If a, if uh, if it's not successful, you want what they call a dry hole. We nobody likes those, but they happen. But okay. the, the chance of success on this one is seventy five percent. That's what I was getting so, at. So that's pretty good. Okay, that's that's not bad. But it doesn't mean to say. It's like I always remember the the, the onshore, round the world average of wells, being successful, is one in every three. But it doesn't mean to say if you drill three wells, one's bound to come in. So a lot of investment. So going back to politics, then are you shielded by um, your um, association with Reach? Because if there's a change of government and Trump or the Republicans get back in, I'm wondering if there's going to be any consequences because Trump is known for his protectionist nationalist policies. And if he finds out there's a British company doing well in Oklahoma, I'm just wondering how he would he would view that. Well, I I think from the way that we've seen you're getting me into serious trouble here because people say, oh, he, he likes Trump. I think if Trump was to win, I don't think I would be too bothered. See our share price going south again. Look, he's been very, very good for the oil industry. From my memory, he was excellent for the oil industry. And I've always found, I've been to the US before, always found him to be very, very encouraging. I've never, ever experienced any anti Brit or anti foreign policy. I've always found it to be a really, really very, very nice place to work. Very fair as well. So, so let's flip the coin because we're going to very briefly talk about your assets here in the UK. But should there be a change in political regime uh, here in the UK, you, you've said that under the, the current administration that the industry is slow. Should the Labour Party get in or a coalition, would that would that accelerate any um, operation? You no, know, I don't. See? You know, there's a lot of noise, as you know. Let me. They've already, I think Starmer said on the weekend or even previous, but he reiterated on the weekend that they were going to really hit the oil industry hard. The windfall tax would be extended for another few years, which obviously isn't, that's not good news. 
and they'd probably put it up by another three three percent as well. Uh, whether or not the industry can sustain that, it, it couldn't. It couldn't. If you put everything out on the table and review what the, con the consequences might be, they they would be horrendous. We've already had a lot of major outfits saying we don't like this regime, and this is under the Conservatives. So God knows what might happen under Labour. Who knows? Maybe it's like going to the dentist. You say, well, I'm going to hate this, I'm going to hate this. But when you actually get there, you don't feel a thing. So no, nobody knows. But it's a terrible shame that companies are being driven driven out because of it, taxes. Everyone's got to pay them, but let's all start from the 40% the, the or whatever. You know, we've earned our tax losses. Let's be able to use them fairly, not in, not not punish us for making money like that. That's a bizarre. I don't. I, I've never known anything. You're making money, so we're going to punish you. And the fact that you're fossil fuel, we're going to punish you even more. Well, but okay. all the bleating in the world won't, won't put that right. It, it's a fact. Can you make money onshore UK? Yeah, of course you can. We've already proven that. Yes, you you can. But with a little bit of sensibility, maybe and sensitivity you could make even more money. Okay, so how are you going to make more money here in the UK? So you own 40% of the cash cow wrestle, um, yes. supplemented by the additional cash flow that we've seen from the Keddington oil field, you have a 55% interest. Yeah. So what is happening in the UK? Are you still happy with um, what how your portfolio is? is oh, yeah, I wouldn't change it for a world. Like wrestle, wrestle has made the company. For sure, that's been the catalyst. Like that well has given us 19 million revenue over, since 2021, and that 19 million revenue has allowed us to basically maybe thrive is a big a big word to use, but we have we have made progress. We've done everything but a model. We've actually well, I've been involved in escape for too, longer than I care. Uh, very rarely do you see a company in a sale. Normally, you're unlucky, you lose, you end up changing your name, you end up with zillions and zillions of shares in issue. But if you could say, well, has this company been a success? I would say so. Does the share price reflect this? No. Will it? Absolutely certain. I couldn't be more relaxed about the company, the way it's going. Bless you. Thank you. The visions I have. I think will work. Everything is slotting into place. And I still think there's quite a few nice rabbits to be pulled out of a hat, which might surprise. Okay, what do you mean Obviously, by everything? I, can't... Everything's... Well, I, I, I think the company is poised for growth. Big growth. That, that's my opinion. So I certainly wouldn't be... We've got West Newton, as you know. West Newton. Nobody's left it alone. Everybody's been very, very busy working on it. But once again, progress has been slow. Will West Newton be drilled? If you read these boards, they say, oh, it never going to happen. Well, that's what we're in the game for. So we wouldn't, if we didn't think that our projects had a future, we weren't going to get drilled. Do you think we'd be paying out money every month to keep, to keep things alive? Of course you wouldn't. That's a, be a crazy thing to do. So, you know, you've asked me a question, am I happy with my assets in the UK? Yeah, you bet. And, so, we, and we will choose for what the assets, which can give the most benefit to the company and to shareholders. And what are those assets? It's got it's got to be Wrestle and it's got to be West Newton. Wrestle, there's a two-wheel program plan, there's a gas monetization. Everyone's seen, well, I would assume they've seen the reserves, the new reserve report at wrestle and the Penniston flags. It's got 10 years of good, good, excellent production and cash flow there. So, you know, we've got two main projects and we've another, you've got Biscafort, we've got Keddington, but that's all down the Egg Egdon of the operators there. And they put their fish to fry in order, I guess. We're the investors. But okay. I can certainly say that that on two on our two major projects, nobody's sat sat down doing nothing. 
And what are these rabbits that you're going to pull out of the hat? You've I have to listen to your subtext very carefully because you were hinting about um, jurisdictions elsewhere when I spoke to you last year and you're in the United States. So I'm going to listen very carefully to this answer. So what's, yeah. what's the well, rabbit? I'm not giving you one. If I want to stay this side of the AIM regulations, I'm not giving you one. No, we, we're working away. We've got lot. The company is in particularly good shape. And, and I've got great expectations. And we wouldn't waste money. Not if we can help it. Not everything works. But so far, so good. David Bramble. It couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. David Bramble, thank you very much. Long may, Thanks, that, uh, long may that happiness continue. Thank you. Thank you.